Hey guys, welcome back. I've been looking through this achievement book a little bit, and it seems like we're going to start requiring metal. Iron and gold and lead, copper especially. I haven't found a way of getting any diamonds. I think the meshes I'm using have way too low of a chance to get them reliably. I have got, what is that, 10 flint stiffened meshes and then the 15 regular string meshes. I have got enough materials gathered up to make 7 gold ingots and 27 iron ingots. Now with these iron ingots I should be able to make the next tier of mesh. Yes, iron stiffened mesh. Each one of them requires four iron ingots though. So that I'm going to be burning through iron pretty quickly with that. Now, what I think I should just do is do a ton of sifting off camera. I'm thinking about making one of these builders ones. Probably not the iron because I need to save all the iron I can get. The stone wand. Let's see how many uses I can get out of a stone builder's wand. If I use this builder's wand in conjunction with the vein miner. Where is my wood at? I should be able to hammer a lot of cobblestone pretty quickly. Okay, here's one stone wand. And there's a stone hammer. So, it said that the stone wand has a max range of five blocks. That's not too great. I put all these sieves over here where I was um, hammering my stone. And I don't want to do it down there because I don't want to vein mine that whole bottom row. I guess I'll just do it here. Whoops. Three, four, five. These torches are going to get in the way though. Do something like this. That should last pretty a decent amount of time. So, I'm going to be hammering this cobblestone down into gravel and sand and dust and then sifting it all until I get a decent amount of ore parts, chunks, whatever they're called, built up. So, I will get back with you guys after I get a stockpile of resources. Okay, so I have a basic amount of resources. I didn't put any coal in there to smelt the silver. Let's see, 15 nickel, 16 lead, 21 copper. I have more gold in my chest and 21 iron. This should be enough to get me started with a few projects. But what I want to do right now is look into getting rice seeds. And you can get rice seeds from sifting dirt in a flint, stif flint stiffened mesh. Now with this rice, we can end up making these rice slime balls. There's actually a lot of different things you can make with rice. Um, you can make paper with rice. And then a bunch of harvest craft recipes. Quite a few harvest craft recipes. But paper, and most importantly, this slime ball. I'm going to use these slime balls for those vector plates. I think, yes, right slime ball right there. I also have to get some sugar from those uh, sugarcane seeds. I'll have to get a sugarcane farm set up. 
So let's see if we can get some rice seeds. Um. Oh, this is the iron one. Apparently, you can't sift dirt. You can't sift dirt in iron meshes. Iron meshes. Sometimes it's hard to speak English. Okay, hopefully I got some there. We've got flax, carrot, rice seeds, six of them. Good deal. And uh, quite a few other assorted seeds. There's more sugar cane, I'll need that. So that's how you get diorite and granite and andesite, all the special stones. There's some more canola seeds, grass seeds. But most importantly, six rice seeds. So let's put all of these seeds that I'm not going to be using in here for now. I don't know what this mineral sapling is. Let's check it out real quick. It's from Integrated Dynamics. That's a mod I'm not really familiar with. Huh, I don't know. I'll have to look into it later. It just looks like blue wood. Okay, so, rice. Now, I'm not entirely sure how you plant this stuff. I'm guessing you can plant it just on tilled soil. Which means I'm going to have to make another plot. I need cobblestone for that and another bucket of water. I'm gonna have to expand this farm area too. What was that? Something down in the mob farm. might be a witch. I'm still carrying this hoe around. Okay, so you can't just plant it on- Cheese? What? Did I not plant that right? Why is it saying this is cheese? Let's go get my watering can and check this out real quick. Or even better, let's get some bone meal. I have plenty of bone meal. I got that from sifting dust. Cheese. Since when can you grow cheese? Where you give me? Okay, so it must be a glitch or something. A bug. That is most definitely not cheese. Oh man, look at that. I'm getting a ton of it. That's probably enough. Now, how do we make these slime balls? This rice dough surrounding a bucket of water. Okay, yes, I'm definitely going to have to do something about all those mobs down there. Actually, I'm going to have to clear it out anyway when I start to put those vector plates in. We also need to get sugar cane started. Let me expand this farm area just a little bit, and then I'll get right back with you. Okay, so I've got this farm area extended a little bit. I have enough room for a sugar cane plot, 
and probably something else if I decide to grow something else over here. But what I want to do is replace this grass that I have with this snad. Now this stuff is just crafted with two sand blocks. It supposedly speeds up the growth of sugarcane. Let's see, we're not going to need 32. How many will we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. Good lord, those zombies are noisy. 16, I said. Yeah, that... That mob spawning area is getting extremely irritating. Hopefully we'll have it taken care of relatively quickly. Okay, so. Replace all of this with that snad. That's sand. This is what we need. Now I wonder if this stuff acts just like regular sand. I wonder if it obeys gravity. I've never used this stuff before. It does. Okay. It looks identical to sand, I think. Yeah, I see no difference. Okay, I'm gonna look into the muffler block, too, from Extra Utilities. I know that mod has a muffler, sound muffler block. I don't know if I'll have the resources for it. I think all it is is wool. A note block and wool. I have redstone for that. I think we'll craft one of those too. Okay, sugar cane. Now let's see how quickly this stuff grows now. Get the sand. These melons are growing really quickly too. Still labeled as cheese. I wonder what that what's up with that. Okay, so sound muffler. I need a note block. Where's my redstone? And some wool. Wait. Wool's just four string. I thought it was eight. Okay, and some wood. There is the note block. And the sound muffler. I think that room is jam-packed full with enemies. There's no way I can take them out. If I open that door, they're all going to rush me. And the creepers are going to blow up all of this. So let's just put that there. Much better. So now, I should have enough materials to make some vector plates. I know that was sugar and slime. So I'm going to be using this rice for that. What else was it? Slime ball, sugar, and stone. Very cheap recipe. So, rice slime ball is four rice dough surrounding a water bucket. So I'm going to need some water. And like this. No, that's not right. This is just rice. How do you make rice dough? Hmm. 
Come on. Okay, three rise. So this will be enough for four slime balls. Or wait, no, we'll have quite a few. So it gives out four apiece. So this should be more than enough to make plenty of vector plates. So now stone as well. I think I have some in this furnace here. So we need sugar, slime balls, and stone. That gets me 56 vector plates. Yes, that's plenty. So vector plates, I'm going to need spikes. Wooden spikes reduces health to half a heart, but doesn't kill. So we don't want that. Stone spikes, it doesn't say anything. Iron spikes, it doesn't say anything. I imagine it's just the damage it deals. The iron would kill faster than stone. Golden spikes, mobs drop experience along with their drops. And diamond, that's the player kill only items. That's like Enderman heads and skeleton heads. Um, I think the uh, armor and bows and stuff like that. So I think we should be okay with just these stone spikes. That would be really cheap. Three cobblestone. One compressed cobblestone, which is just nine cobblestone blocks, and three stone swords. I am going to have to do some inventory cleaning. Put those up, that up. We'll leave this out. I don't know where I'm going to put that. That goes up. Let's just throw it in this chest. And this is all sand. Okay, so now I need a ton of stone. Which this cobblestone generator is keeping this chest full at all times. That should be enough. I need to expand that to like a... Um... Is there a barrel mod? Simple barrels. Ooh. That looks a little complicated. Fermenting barrel. Let's see, it was the Java barrels in 1.7, and then 1.10 had the. What was it? Yaba, I think. It was basically the same thing. Let's see, is thermal expansion in this pack? It's not. Wow. Okay. I can't think of any other block off the top of my head that stores a ton of items. I'm sure there is something in this pack. I'll, I'll have to look later. It's not really that big of a deal right now. So, we need three stone swords. We also need sticks. Three stone swords. We need a compressed cobblestone. And three regular cobblestone. Oh my god, this mouse is double clicking like crazy. Okay, there's four stone spikes. And the vector plates. That's enough to automatically kill mobs, but we're going to need a vacuum hopper or something to pull the drops into a chest. This absorption hopper is what I used in my FTB Beyond series. But that is a little expensive. Three obsidian, an eye of ender, and a hopper. 
Actually, the only thing I'm missing is an ender pearl because I got blaze powder from something somewhere right here. It was from sifting something. I don't know what it was. I just ended up with it in my inventory. Ender pearls, though. Yeah, that's my mob drop chest, and there are no ender pearls. I know there's endermen in this farm down here, but I don't know. If I open that door, bad things are going to happen. Actually, where are all the enemies? I just see a ton of skeletons, and then these NPC enemies. There was an enderman in there because I could hear him before I put that muffler up down. Looks like a lot of them have despawned. See, I'm going to have to clear that out anyway to put the vector place down. Oh, should I try it? Screw it. Why oh, that muffler even blocks the door sound. Well, it blocks everything. Wow, the skeletons didn't even come out. Let's see, I need torches. I would like to get some uh, redstone lamps too, so I had a way to have a way to turn this off. But I don't have enough glowstone for that. Yeah, he's not gonna come out because it's daytime out here. Is there just one left? No, there's a creeper in there too. Yeah, I just kill each other, that's fine. I'll even shut the door. That creeper's got me worried. No, 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 no. I hate creepers so much. Wow, how many skeletons are in here? They're gonna kill me. I am so dead. Okay, food. Where's my food? Where's my food? I don't have a really easy way of getting any armor. This iron's way too valuable right now to waste it on armor. Let's see, the skeletons blew up the door, the glass. Yeah, I saw you. This bat. Needs to go away. Okay, light this up. Actually, better put them on the walls. Fix the floor. Kill this bat. So, I'm going to have to build another room down below this to funnel the mobs down underneath to drop on those spikes. I'll probably do that off camera because this is going to take quite a while, I know. So I'll get back with you guys just after a bit. Okay, so we got the second floor to this mob grinder, I guess I'd call it. Mob spawner, whatever. I put another staircase and so now we actually have three levels to our world. So, let's go ahead and put our spikes down. I was looking through uh, JEI and I can't really find any other cheap vacuum chests or hoppers or anything. The cheapest one I could find, I imagine I'm overlooking something that would work even better. The cheapest one I could find is this absorption hoppers, which is what I've used before. But I'm still missing that ender pearl. What I'm thinking I'll do is just set this up and let it spawn mobs like crazy and just keep a really close eye on it until I get my first ender pearl and then I'll put that craft this absorption hopper and put it down. 
It shouldn't take too long to get my first ender pearl. So the spikes are down. Now we need to put the vector plates down. I should have enough. This room isn't really that big. In my FCB Beyond series, I use Cursed Earth in this mob spawner. But what I'm thinking is seeing as though there's no other places mobs can spawn, uh, they should be spawning almost as fast in here as the Cursed Earth. Maybe a little slower, but I'm thinking it'll work just fine. And if need be, I can upgrade it later on with Cursed Earth. Okay, so everything's pushing towards this hole. Oh, I don't want to fall down there. Okay, if you hold shift, you can walk around without being pushed on these vector plates. Everything will get pushed towards here in this hole, fall on those stone spikes, and hopefully the, these spikes are strong enough to kill mobs and actually make them drop their loot. So we better knock all these torches off. And then... Ah, oh shoot. I don't have any glass. We'll just leave it covered up for now. This double-clicking mouse is driving me nuts. I'll go craft some dark glass after a bit and put in here so I can see what's going on. We'll have to leave this open about like this, though. So let me go throw some of the sand and the furnaces. I have enough ink slacks to make the dark glass. And I think it was just glass surrounding an ink sack to make the dark glass. Split it up and make it go by faster. Double clicking mouse. There's some charcoal in there. Okay. What is that? What does that say? Compressed... Sp compressed spider? What? What is a compressed spider? Oh shoot, spiders can't... How did I fix that in my other series? Oh! I put spikes on the wall above the hole. Let's see. Don't attack me, please. And please, no creepers. There we go. Perfect. And looky here, this is working perfectly, except I can't reach that loot bag. So that spike doesn't destroy drops, and it is killing mobs. So this will work fine until I get my first cinder pearl. But I'm going to want some dark glass to put right there so I can see the mob spawning. And I would really like to have a way to turn that off and on. Just like I said, I've used redstone lamps before and it works perfectly. Let's see, glass and ink sack. No, that's not right. Okay, how do how do I make Dark glass. I know I'm close. Thickened glass, which is sandy glass. Sand and glass, and I put all my sand in the furnace. Except for two pieces. Oh my god, this double clicking. It was sand and glass. 
think it was two pieces of sand and two pieces of glass. Yes. And we'll smelt this. Okay. Definitely need a new mouse. I don't know why it's acting up so bad tonight. And one recipe gives me two dark... Okay. So for each thickened glass, I'll get a dark glass. That'll give me four. That'll be enough to get started. Let's check these loot bags real quick while I'm waiting. Wooden chest transporter, birch sapling, and four pumpkin seeds. Not too great. Spruce sapling, even worse. Wait, no? Yes. We can probably take that muffler down too. Let's do something like this. Okay, I'm gonna have bats spawning in there too. I don't really like that. Maybe I can move those spikes up one more. I don't know. Yes, look at the drops. It's kind of hard to get at the ones in the back though. So yeah. Let's check our achievement book, check that off. We have a mob farm killing monsters automatically. I need to upgrade an existing tinker's tool with a metal part and enchant a sieve mesh. For that, I'm going to need diamonds because I need to make an enchantment table. I have enough for everything else. Diamonds. And I get that from sifting something. I think sand and the iron stiffened mesh. So, yeah. I think I'll go ahead and end this episode here. We have an automatic mob farm. That's going to help out quite a bit. So I'll end this episode here, and I will see you guys next time.